All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome to episode one of Let's Play Stone Shard with me, Gamer New Plays. We are gonna have to start a new game because for some reason, the capture device wasn't working, and we got through the tutorial basically. That was about it. But I'm gonna let you guys listen. Where am I? You are awake, just in time for the ritual. We'll have a use for you so very soon. Don't try anything funny, or you'll end up like one of your friends. Perhaps I should check on him again. All that fresh blood, that must have drained by now. Curses. Doesn't look like we won that fight. I need to get out of here before this bastard returns. Oh. <clears throat> These chains look rusted, I believe is what he said. So, I've read all this stuff, but... Poor Locke. Your bad feeling was spot on this time. They didn't search him. Bad move. No offense, buddy, but you won't need all these things anymore. If you guys want to search them, you told, or if you guys want to look at them, you totally can. I'm going to be going through the tutorial a little bit quicker. Just pause if you really want to read them. I hope I'm not alone, survivor. Got to arm myself and find the rest. I just kind of want to get on with the uh, the story here. So we're going to be smashing our way through this stuff and looking at these bodies. And that was actually different the first time I went through here. So it looks like the loot is generated randomly. There was a there was a ring on him the first time I had to go through here. The cages are unlocked and blood trails are fresh. Looks like everyone was taken somewhere. Seems like I was the only one to be left in the dungeon. That's strange. Anytime I get to play a badass old man in a game, I'm gonna be happy. So, I mean, right now I'm, I'm pretty happy. Alright, so this is unidentified. We don't want to put it on because it could be cursed, and that's something you learn later in the, uh, in the tutorial about curses. But this one's not cursed, so we can go ahead and just toss that one on. And those are just shackles. Smack this, and then it's gonna teach us about combat. You are dead! And then you can you can actually inspect your enemies to see their stuff um, and then their little description. This neophyte was tasked with guarding guarding you. He hasn't been doing a very good job so far. So we just normal turn based combat. You wait for him to come over. You smack him. You apparently do way worse than you did the first time. But we got him. The shiv is actually better than the pipe. And we're just going to get rid of the pipe because inventory space is kind of crucial. And right here, it's going to teach us about traps. Burn. Led to death. Such a foolish way to go. Looks like there is a trap. I have to take a look around unless I want to share his fate. Let me just hit one, find the trap, go ahead and disarm it. You can't avoid it, but it requires like high like dexterity. And we get a belt. Damn. Awesome. I forgot about my leg. Hurts more and more. I need to find something to treat the wound before it festers. And we're actually learning about injuries and stuff in the game. We'll surely find something in them. So, here we'll find all this stuff to treat uh -huh. injuries. Can use this to patch up my leg. And if we hit C, we can see that our right leg is mild leg injury. So we can right click that and apply a splint we just found. And then we can also use the healing salve to get rid of the little negative effect we had. And now we've got what's called pain, and you need something to remove pain. No, you don't hit that button. You hit use, drink it, and then you can use the antidote to get rid of the intoxication. And then it teaches you about resting, which you do in safe areas. You hit R. <clears throat> it makes you consume more food and consume more thirst, but That's better. it heals you faster. And so since it heals us faster, we can just do that and pick up this doublet, duble, whatever you want to call it, and traveling shoes here. And now we actually look good. And also, it's really nice that it shows up on your character. That's pretty cool. Like, some games would skip doing that. This game doesn't. And that's good. Because I don't like games that skip. Like, that's a big part of, of an RPG for me, is to see my character developing. And when you level up, sorry, I have an itch. When you level up, you regain your health and you get ability points and attribute points. And I kind of want to play a 
dodgy ranged guy. So I'm going to go and start putting points into agility. But I will read these four, or I'll real show you these four. Strength influences your primary combat capabilities. Agility influences your finesse in combat. Perception allows you to spot danger earlier and helps you deliver precise attacks. Vitality influences your survivability and endurance. And willpower influences your magic capabilities and makes hardships and misery more tolerable. So if you guys want to pause and read those, you totally can. And that's just a normal shiv, just like we've got. So we're going to go ahead and pass it up. And move on. Bah, a pyromantic treatise. Just like the good old times in the academy. Got to recall a spell or two. And this, like you said, is a treatise. And that shows you how to get new skills and stuff. This is how you learn new skills in the game. You have to actually spend AP on them to learn them. But you get the ability to learn them by reading these books. And you can pause and read these pages if you would like. And I don't really... I want to save my stuff, so I'm going to wait. Let me pick up some some alcohol here. And an hourglass, which we might end up dropping. It's a, it's a vendor trash item. Well, hello there. We'll wait till he steps towards us so he doesn't get the first hit. And then we will try to end him. We get the monastic book. Let's go ahead and read this, because it is lore. Third of reaping. Our brothers toiled well today. I hope that the coming harvest will recompense us for our hard work as it was last year. Another few bountiful seasons and we shall be able to save enough gold to patch our shabby cloister. Patience and diligence are truly the greatest virtues. Fifth of reaping. This night, Brother Albert went down with a sudden fever. The heat from his body is so severe one can burn a hand on him. I have no idea how he managed to catch a cold like this. Perhaps he worked in the rain. Wouldn't be his first time. I left a couple brothers by Albert's side and sent to Manshire for a healer. Herbal poultices and earnest prayers should be more than enough to cure his ailment. Sixth of reaping. Since the last night, Brother Albert had stopped recognizing us, any of us. He keeps on babbling, makes some nonsense, but no one can under make any sense of it. The healer spent an entire night by his bedside, tried all of his potions, but it was no use. We ended up paying him and sending him back. If Albert doesn't get better soon by himself, it will be his funeral we'll have to pay for. Sixth of reaping. Evening. Brother Ivor is sick as well. It's not a cold. Dun dun dun. It's like they turned into zombies or something. Or vampires. Sorry. Tenth of reaping. The miasma of this horrible disease now permeates the entire monastery. Half of our brothers are delirious. Their bodies riddled with scabs and boils. Blood is seeping through their pores and we can't do anything to ease their suffering. I declared a quarantine in order to lock down everyone who showed signs of the disease in the catacombs, but I fear it's all in vain. The rest will go down sick in a couple of days. The host give me strength to persevere and save our congregation. Well, good luck with that. Sometimes prayer works, maybe, maybe not. I'm not one to say. I'm just in organizing my inventory here a little bit. I like to put the single slot items like this on the, on the bottom. Just it feels like it makes it easier for me personally. But let's go down the hole. And find another diary page to read. 14th of Reaping. Today the entire neighborhood gathered around our monastery. The healer had brought the disease back to Manshire. Blood was leaking from their eyes. They were hopelessly sick. I prohibited anyone to go outside. Then they tried to break in. A few brothers lost their lives, but we managed to push them back from the gates. When the crazed crowd tried to burn us alive along with the building... I had to break the quarantine and bring even the healthy brothers into the catacombs, truly out of the frying pan and into the fire. Yeah, it's definitely not good. Definitely not a good thing. And here we're going to learn a bunch of more skills. And you can pause these and read them if you want. The books are expensive to sell, it seems, but they also take up a ton of inventory space, so I'm probably not going to bring them with me. But you can go ahead and pause those if you want and read them. We'll read the we'll read the uh, this kind of lore. Blood gets into my eyes and drips down on the parchment. We are doomed in these sinister depths. Even time itself flows differently. I've lost the count of days. When was the last time I left my cell? A couple hours ago? A day? A week? I may be the only one who is still alive. Every night I'm haunted by visions as the candlelight fades. Shadowy figures step out from the darkness. Their wheedling whispers drive me crazy. The host is silent. The host is deaf to our prayers. The host betrayed us. Where do I seek strength to fight back the temptation? To break the oath. A cure. A cure. All I ask for is to be cured. Abandoned by his god. More skills to learn. And I'll wait till these go away so I can flip the page and you guys can read it. They'll just keep popping up like that. Some are longer, some are shorter. Like that one. 
crazy amounts of stuff. And three pages instead of two. One moment, guys. I'll open these and continue while I'm doing something, but I won't be talking for a minute. All right, I'm back. Felt like I had something in my throat. Sorry about that. Just wasn't feeling the grace. So these are identification scrolls. Perfect. And then these are disenchantment and enchantment scrolls. And yeah, they do what you think they would do. They enchant, they disenchant, and they identify. The tutorial is complete. We're on the finale. All right. So it basically tells us not to take on too many enemies at once. Um, enemies are strong can be just as strong as you you were not some heroic legendary chosen figure you were just a man so don't try to take on everybody at once play it smart don't be stupid stupid and find the next level the way out nice crit i mean it's kind of like like they're not playing around like they definitely feel like they beat you up sometimes got a little necklace there we can throw on though that's nice oh we can identify that fury neck now too so is this better it doesn't give protection it does not look better so no we're just going to leave it behind but we can also use this identification scroll on this Ooh. we're going to throw that on hello there bat you got something you want to say that's right retaliate and that you do have a chance to like retaliate which is neat Oh, there's another bat behind us. i just seen it. Alright, we got a shield here. That's good to have. And this cudgel looks like it does more damage than our little itty bitty shiv. Let's go ahead and take it. Maybe we take on this bat before we go through a door. What up, bat? Oh, we're in pain, but level up. Let's go ahead and throw some points into perception since I want to be like an agility perception guy. Sort of... Maybe. I don't know. Did we check this? We did not. We got a hat. What up, hat? And it goes onto our character. It looks so good. It looks so good. I love the artwork. Hello there. Come and get it. Oh, we're in pain. How's he doing? Inspect. He's almost dead. We got him. Oh, now we got a rat down here. What the heck? We're being surrounded. Don't fight in hallways, apparently. Oh, it's got a, he's got a bandage and a flail. And a bat. We'll we take the bandage for sure, and we'll definitely take a look at the flail. 21 damage, but it looks like it's in bad shape, so we'll toss it. Had bad durability. Nothing in the bookcase. Ooh, an apprentice's robe. Um, mm, I think I still like the Dublé more. I could be entirely just wrong, but, uh, you know, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Take him out. There we go. Tell him to sit down real quick. Nice friendly looking statues there. Got another box here and another box there to break. Just looking for the exit. Oh, oh hello. I walked right into him like a dummy. What, are, what is this? We're heroism. Counter chance, weapon damage. Ooh. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and actually shut this door and check out our injuries here. So this one, let's apply a healing salve to me. We're just going to kind of bring up our health and then maybe get a little bit of a rest going on. I kind of want to see if pain goes away after a while, so we're kind of just going to leave it and hope it goes away. 
Oh, this guy's got a big knife. So he knocked me back, so I just I just waited. Because obviously you don't want to walk into them and give them the first hit. Time to die, son. Unidentified sword. Let's check it out. Oh, it's cursed. But you can lift the curse with a disenchantment scroll. And then we can check it out. And it's really bad durability, unfortunately. But it's worth 200 gold, so we'll probably keep it around for a little bit at least. Hello, rat. And we missed the rat. And we missed the rat again. There we go. Burdock? What's that? Flower. Ooh, intoxication change, health restoration, and immunity. Interesting. There's another rat up there. Oh, we getting some food on the ground? Did it move twice when I moved once? It looked like it moved twice. Maybe I'm crazy. Oh, we're getting thirsty. But that's okay. We can go with a little bit of thirst for a bit. Come here, ratty rat. Oh, there's the way down to the next level, actually. Do we want to just go down? Or I think we want to clear out the level. I don't know what, I don't know what the right play is, but I always like clearing out levels. Look at all the food we're getting while we're doing it. How could that be the wrong idea to get more grub? Everybody knows you're supposed to eat every food that you find in a dungeon. It's really the only way to survive as an adventurer. Before we open that door, we'll come down here. That doesn't look very friendly. Um, I don't want to... I detected traps and nothing happened, so I'm going to walk in front of it. But I was terrified. Ooh, we got a big axe. I think... Is this two-handed? It's not two-handed. Okay. Well, we'll take that then. I'm just going to put this back. It doesn't seem like it's actually that much money. Ooh. What are you? Ooh, this looks cool. Yeah, we'll be taking that, actually. And is this a healing potion? Or what? Stone skin potion. Okay. Turns your skin to stone. I'm assuming that just gives you more block. If I had to guess, take less damage, perhaps. I'm not entirely sure. I think there was a little bit more to explore down here. Yeah, that's what it looks like. We'll go through the open door first. A staff? Well, we can't identify it, but I mean, I'm taking a staff with me. It's the first one we've seen. I wonder when we're going to run out of lockpicks. Alright, these guys are creepy and scary, but we critted him twice in a row and stunned him. Oh, sit down, son. That was good. Alright, let's get on out of here. That was definitely worth it, getting the extra XP. And we leveled up again. Amazing. Do we want to... I think we just want to, like, kind of keep pumping up our dodge chance if we're going to try to be a bow wielder and stuff. And we are hungry and thirsty now, so I might as well give us a little bit of food and drink there. And uh, yep, there's where the exit was. The tremors are coming from upstairs. I bet everyone was taken there. I have to find my way up, whatever it takes.
I've been muted. Awesome. Great. Let's go over this and read this again. With the, this paper, we, Nud the Elder, and every denizen of Manshire pledge to pay a bounty of 700 crowns to every man, be it a commoner, a mercenary, or a noble knight. He'll take on the task of descending into the Abbey of the Holy Revelation and cleanse it from the spirits or any other filth inhabiting it, and return back with the safe and sound with the proof of their deed. We hereby sign this, Seventh of Bloom. All right. And also, I was like, oh, this all stuff is really cool. Let's grab it. And hey, now that we've got a bow, maybe we should re get our bow skills. So let's do that. And then this gives... 50% actually and 10% damage and also gets a minus 3% cooldown for skills of this tree. And then I said I'm a passives guy, so we're probably going to take our passives. This is not a passive, though. Increase the dodge chance up to 100% and lets you retreat up to two tiles away. Ooh, we want that. And then we'll take this passive. Alright, now let's go. Sorry about muting myself. My apologies. Okay! So, we missed. Get him. Shoot him. We are missing quite a bit. And we're still missing. There we go. I was like, geez, we got most of our arrows back, didn't we? We take aim and then shoot. Oh, yeah. This is much better. Just keep taking aim. Yes, that's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, we like it. Let's, honestly, yeah, let's just keep even them out, even them out, and let's get our arrows back. And do they go back to the equipment spot? They do. And we still have 15 arrows, awesome, and an unidentified sword. We'll keep that with us. We missed. Maybe we should always use that. Did I just use my bow to do that? Oh my goodness. Okay. That's not okay. I don't want to use the bow. I want to be able to use the... Oh, I wish there was like a weapon switch option. Alright, well, we're going to have to do this then. Ooh, male gloves. Identification scroll. Let's go ahead and use this on the sword. Just got bad durability and leeches. More pain, but healing. All right, give it to me. That's an expensive axe. Okay, so that's what looks like a lot of money. We're going to put that back. A wolf pelt. 65 cents and some gold for the first time. Ooh la la. And then I want to switch back to my bow. And I kind of want to just drop this and use this... If I have to put a whip, pull a weapon out. Oh, so I tried to use my dodge back thing, but it... I mean, it worked, but I missed. Oh, and we're just going to keep missing. Are you done missing yet? Alright, so I guess we're going to use... We just keep missing. Oh my goodness. Thank you. <laughs> It's like, jeez, you're just going to keep on missing. And no more missing, please. And we're going to equip this so we can smack some of these barrels open. And not use our arrows to do it. Herbal extract. Give me my bow back. You never know what's behind door number two. Oh no, our, our arrow's gone. This is upsetting. I hope is there a quick swap way to quick swap weapons? I don't think there is. I don't think there is, unfortunately. And at least I wasn't taught it. If anyone knows and wants to tell me, that would be great. We're getting hungry. Might as well might as well eat a little bit. Also, I wanted to test if switching weapons actually Oh, there's like a wizard. What's up, wizard? Ooh. Is that a trap? Well, you stepped on it. Could you die, please? We're out of arrows, aren't we? Oh, no! 
All right, so that does take up a turn. <laughs> that does take up a turn. Okay, good to know, good to know. We don't need this anymore. We don't have any room in our freaking inventory. Um. Oh, just just get rid of it. Wait, wait, what? I equipped these. Thank you. Alright, well, it looks like that doesn't matter that we equipped them, apparently. Maybe it didn't register me as equipping. Oh, well. We're going to take them out with the axe anyway. Maybe maybe we're going to need a secondary weapon. What do you, I'm, I'm almost thinking that. So there's a silver ring there that we can throw on for some extra stuff. Give me my arrows. We are down to 10 arrows, though. But we have reached the next level. We're kind of running out of what we want to use, so maybe we should move on. Also, I didn't realize I got another one of these points. What's this? Ooh, to two turns. Oh, that's really good. Let's take that. Anything that makes a skill last longer that's beneficial is really good to have, in my opinion. More food. I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna move on, yeah. Corrupted Chapel. The Abbot's Note. Let's read it. Einer. There is always some alarming... There is some alarming news from the capital. People say that King Etbert, blessed be his name, is gravely ill and has perhaps been fighting death for a week now. Perhaps it's just rumors spread by ill-wishers. It's no secret that Etbert has many of them. Nevertheless, we shall pray for the host for our monarch swift recovery. Relay to the rest of the brothers that we will need another service tonight. Well then. This looks like it's going to have like a room with like a bunch of people in it. Oh my god. Okay. Hello? H hello? Good sir. Oh, thank good. Oh, no, well, our, our people are out there. No! Don't leave us here! Please! Make it stop! Ah, an uninvited oh my. guest. We were hoping to save you for last. But since you came here willingly... So, you are the one behind all this madness. You'll pay for everything. How arrogant! Look around you! It's over! Soon both the stone shard and your souls will serve the higher purpose. Still, the court appreciates your courage. You can serve us well. Put down your weapons, and perhaps we'll spare your life. Not this time, abomination. Well then, we show you mercy, and yet you reject our gifts. Let the ritual begin! Kion North! Alright, this looks like a boss battle. Um, you know what this is? It's a perfect time to cut episode one. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed episode one, make sure to hit that like button, hit that comment button if you have any critiques like me muting my mic. Oh my god, how did you do that? You're such an idiot. Perfectly acceptable. And also hit that subscribe button if you want to see more Stone Shard. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. What is up everybody? Welcome back to episode 2 of Stone Shard. We're about ready to fight this Archon here and try to save our brethren, but he looks a little badass. Hopefully we can do it. Destroy the statues is our goal here, so we don't even attack him. We're supposed to destroy the statues, so let's... Let's get on to it. Okay, so that one did something. Alright, we need to... So if we dodge... I'm just going to keep shooting them, I guess. We got a guy coming for us, too, unfortunately. Maybe we can take this out? You think you can stop me? Hopefully? Are we out of arrows? Oh my gosh, we're almost out of arrows. This lasts for two turns now instead of just one. Oh, and he's producing more guys. We take him out. Didn't take him out, but we are out of arrows. Right, we, 
I gotta get up over there. Take him out, come on. We can do this, Vernon. We don't need arrows to finish this job. We cannot lose. That? Have mercy. What a foul beast. We gotta fight that. Okay, so it looks like we can dodge. Unfortunately, we're pretty much out of arrows, so it looks like we're axing him questions. We dump down this way. We can... Okay, we can wait till he does that. And I think he'll take a step towards us? Yep. He ate a body! Don't be eating no bodies, that's cheating! Come here, punk! You don't want none of this. Alright, we can hit him if we go up here. There we go. Ooh! Just take a step to the side real quick. Oh, he stuns if he gets hit in the wall! Okay, how's he doing on, uh... 43%. Alright, we're not doing bad. He has healed, though, already once, so that's unfortunate. I think we're winning. Don't run away. Don't you run away from me, from Varen. Varen's gonna kick your ass! Sit down, son. Give me the stone shard. Varen, I have many questions. Now is not the time. We have the stone shard. Let's get out of here. Should we pick it up? I'm gonna get my arrow back. You know, we got two arrows, you know, just in case. Go ahead and throw this on. I can, I can shoot somebody with two arrows. Let's get out of here, though. Ooh, this is pretty. My belongings, my entire fortune, I'm ruined! For the love of the whole Strindward, shut your mouth! Baron is dead, Locke is dead, so is Jorgen, and you cry over some old junk! And it's all because of you, Baron. Did you think our lads would chicken out? You could have at least told me. An easy job, maybe some digging. You call a horde of cannibals an easy job. Are you out of your mind? Do you think I was lying to you? Gwenel swore that the monastery had been deserted for decades. So you're saying that your Gwenel set us up for certain death? I... I don't know. I hope not. It's some kind of mistake. This... mistake... cost half our men their lives. I know. I have many questions too. And believe me, once we are done with the contract, Gwynel will answer each and every one of them. No, Varen. This is where we part. The caravan is no more. Rinward, Aruz, and I are going back to Bryn. After all these years, I've just saved your hides. All you did was save us from the trap you'd let us into. We always used to know where and what our jobs were. But once you started rubbing elbows with Gwynel, there was no end to our misfortune. I want to know what Gwinnell is hiding, why he needs stone shards, and what these damn stone shards are to begin with. And yet, we don't have the slightest idea about anything, while well, you only care about money. But there is no paying death off. I'm done. You are free to go. But I am bound by the contract. I'll manage without you. 
get lost. That's right. We're our own man. Osbrook, one week later. So here I am. The caravan is gone. My leg is crippled. Half my men are dead and the other half are deserters and traitors. The host be praised that at least I've got the stone shod. If I knew I had to deal with an entire cult of evil devil knows what, I'd think thrice before getting into the whole mess. I'm too old for an adventure like this. Uh, if only I could have a good talk with the Gwinnell right now. I'd ask him what the hell is going on. I've been doing this for 30 years, but I've never found myself in such a tough spot. I need to get back to Bryn. I'm not going up there. I'm not going there by myself, so that's why I sent for you. Do you remember how I helped you back then? Well, it's time to return the favor. Damn, it's been so long. Tell me, what have you been up to? 